morning guys, Derek here. We just, uh, it's Easter Sunday, so it's around noon. So we ordered pizza because we don't have any food in the house. So we got pizza on the way. I'm gonna feed our screaming hungry animals and then uh, we're gonna eat, finish getting ready, then get over the job. Let's get it done. Get your bowl. Wait. Go ahead. Go ahead. Rizzo. Rizzo. is here. Sit. Yeah. Say. Yeah, there. Hey, how's it going? Good. Yeah, how are you? I'm doing alright. Happy Easter. Yep, happy Easter. guys we're all done with lunch now it's time to get over and go help Warren up with that project so besides you saw yesterday we got almost everything done let's get the rest of it finished off for Easter it's good to do guys um so yeah i got the plate taken off up there if you have concrete i'm going to teach you a little trick right now so if you have concrete for your pre-wiring or you need a mount on a concrete and there's a box there already um what i like to do i take a little drill bit take a bit like that metal one and i'll drill out two little holes i'll show you here what i had done I measure those holes out and then drill straight through them so those are like that and that and then what I'm going to do is this plate will go actually behind here. I'll screw in through this and then mount it up into the box holes right there. which I use a lot of the times, but I like this clean look right over the face plate. This thing ain't ever coming down. Uh, you can put whatever pressure you want on this, it'll never come down. And you don't need to go drilling out your concrete and all that stuff. So there's an easier way to do things. Think smarter, not harder. Work harder, not smarter. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> One of those. Yeah, it looks so clean like that. Yeah, good job. Beautiful. All right, guys, patio's all done. Let's go check in on one. Boom. Existing <laughs> DevTech tower, subwoofer, TV's all mounted. He's just working on the receiver portion now. We've got a couple zones. We got patio game room on one receiver, or game room's on its own zone, and 685 dual zone receiver you know, by Yamaha is going to power the 5.1 or 5.2 in the family room. And the patio zone as well. RX-V685 is a really good unit because it has a, gra a great uh, graphic interface for making adjustments to the speakers. The 585 and lower doesn't have the same tuning capability, so you get a little bit lesser sound quality on those units.
right, so we got this TV going. We wanted to get that moving. I'm gonna go check on Mercedes in here in the media. Ooh. Hi, Mercedes. Brought you your stuffs. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. You want me to do that for you real quick? Boom! Pick these little slats up for like two bucks, two fifty at Home Depot. Screw into your shelf, and you got a shelf extension, just like that. Yeah, feel crazy. <laughs> all right, guys, we're pretty much finished up here. We got all this set up here, looking beautiful with the DevTech towers and the 5.2 going on. Warren got those cut in yesterday. Patio's up. Uh, game room is up. Let's run upstairs, check some stuff out. Warren is tuning. Adjusting all his individual frequencies right here. Let's go check out the rack. Beautiful work by Mercedes. Super clean. I am not too big and bad to you. I will not run their past. I am more easy to try and your best to tell me. Alright guys, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching this one. Please leave us a like, give us a subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.